Hey! My dear V, how would you like to do a good deed? Earn a quick Euro buck over what you usually earn. A piece of hot lead in the gut. A terrorist organization, the Crimson Harvest, plans to detonate a bomb at Biotechnica's HQ in Berlin. I know that because Nell Springer, my client, is one of them. She needs your help foiling the plot. Interested? See the attachment for details. I will be staying at the stadium after all. Nell Springer. Who's asking? Name's V. Fixer sent me. You weren't followed? Why? Scared the Crimson Harvest might know you're up to no good? No. Well, I have a feeling. And not a whole lot of time. Did hands bring you up to speed? Said you want to turn against your terrorist chooms, sabotage their evil plans, and save the day. For the love of... We're not terrorists. You got any clue what the Crimson Harvest even stands for? How about putting an end to hunger, starvation? People starving. Where? Because dumpsters are overflowing with food in Night City. You city folk don't know shit. You think you're free? That slavery's ancient history? Ought to see how Biotechnica treats farmers. Force them off their land to grow gene-modified wheat. For food, wouldn't think. Wrong. For Chew 2 that's sold to Petrochem. You like the taste of Chew 2? No? It's what I thought. Farms are empty, but the roads are full. The first nomads are farmers too, you know. Mm-hmm. Heard all about clans taking corp contracts. Kind of ironic, don't you think? Tough world out there. Gotta make a living. The Crimson Harvest. They recruit you or did you volunteer? Grew up on a farm like most of my comrades. Corpse boots stamping on our faces. That was our life. Until we realized we could fight back. Crimson Harvest. They're like family. And the things you'll do for family will and keep you up at night, haunt you. If you believe in what the Crimson Harvest stands for, why shit on their parade? I support their ends, not their means. I, I never thought we'd start killing people. Things they had me do, I, I was naive. Probably thought she'd be collecting signatures and making peace protests. Sorry. Naive? Bit of an understatement, Dad. Spare me the judgment. Didn't hire you to pin my biography. Here. Wow, discreet. New to this, are we? What's on the shard? One thing at a time, okay? The Crimson Harvest purchased a net nuke from Hansen. It's headed for Europe. Specifically, Biotechnica's HQ in Berlin. You'll make sure that doesn't happen. Your bomb won't cause any good old-fashioned destruction? Thought terrorists like to put on a show. Take down a building, what the fucking do? Biotechnica just builds a new one. What you want is the protein. Human casualties. So what do I do? Western part of the stadium used to house a sports therapy center. Or Hansen turned into an arms factory. Entry codes 1701. Memorize it. It's got assembly lines, warehouses, the works. Part you're interested in is an experimental lab in the old pool. It's where they keep the bomb. Find it, upload the program from this shard. A few days from now, when the bomb's detonated in Berlin, it'll neutralize the virus, stop its spread. When it's done, I'd like that shard back. Gonna keep it as a souvenir? Can't be too careful. 
If the Crimson Harvest ever got their hands on it, I'm toast. Is it worth the risk? One botched attack ain't gonna stop your fellow fanatics. Opposite, in fact. Maybe I'm doing it for myself. Can't turn back time, but I can still change what happens here, now, the future. Too long I've sat on my ass agonizing over the shit I've done. That ends today. Sounds like you're trying to atone for something. <sighs> you done prying? Guess I'll get to work then. Counting on you, V.
Right. Let's see what's here. Only thing worse than a corpo is a terrorist with a conscience. Except terrorists ain't afraid to dirty their hands. Blame Nell for trying to save innocent people? For having a conscience? If you're gonna declare war on corpse, you'd best be ready for the consequences. Yes, innocent people die. It's the nature of war. About as much of a soldier as I'm a laser pop star. No, you're a deserter. Either way, I died for something I believed in. Nell would rather die of old age. Sixers came for the goods. You know the one, boss. Tough on the hollow, pussy in RL. Nah, it's all good. Ain't it cool? Oh, yeah. He'll be that cool. Welcome to the World Report on N54 News. The Western corporate states recently announced a... ...visa program. Persons intending to relocate there must first find a sponsor from among WCS affiliates. Can you slice and dice it? Following a 20-year employment period within the WCS... Hey! Enemy contact! Opening fire! The bomb. You, you take care of it? Disarmed. We're in the clear. Quick, hand me the shard. Gotta make tracks. What the? Shit, the car's hacked! What's going on? Did you see me? Got nothing to do with this. Nell Springer! You're under arrest for organizing last year's bombing of a biotechnical lab in Paris! No, no, no. This isn't happening. Your bomb killed 32 innocent people. That true? You the one that planted that bomb? I swear on my life, V. I had Just no idea over. civilians would die. Step out of the vehicle. Hands in the air. Get out. V, please, come on. Don't leave me. Listen, fellas. You got all wrong. Nell was just following orders, manipulated against her will by terrorists. 
Save it. Evidence speaks for itself. Had a deal, Nell. Nothing more I could do for you. No, this isn't over! Don't leave me like this, please! Wanna cuff me? Go right ahead. The fucking sucker! Ugh. Herman Hick! Fucking hell! Come on! I'll make this quick for you! You hit? No, I... I don't think so. Thanks, V. Could have told me you had more than the Crimson Harvest to worry about. I... I thought if you found out the truth, you wouldn't help. I... I'm sorry. I misjudged you. Think you'll ever come around to forgiving yourself? Don't know. I already hate myself for what I did. Got your whole life to turn things around. Today was the first step. Couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, V. Good luck out there. What a waste. Chick had potential. Could have gone far. Pains me to see promising careers flush down the drain. Net watch is on the prowl, sniffing around here lately. I'm certain I have no idea what you're talking about. Unfortunately, this thing I know nothing about is a problem for the VDBs. So much so, district power consumption has dropped by half. Voodoo's troubles keeping you up at night? Mr. Hands the altruist. No, disruptions to the status quo keep me up at night. My concern grows when the seeds of chaos are sown. It's bad for business. So what's this you got for me? V, you're Dorothy. Dropped into a foreign land, you face many obstacles and overcome them to see Hansen's Emerald City. Metaphor is esoteric at best. Going anywhere with it? Only toward a happy conclusion. You've labored diligently and earned your reward. Your very own silver slippers. By silver slippers you mean... A fitting end to our tale. Something that will spirit you home safely. You'll know what I mean when you see what I'm talking about. Soon. 
Always excited to get a pair of new kicks. Or <laughs> whatever we're talking about. Hmm. I do appreciate an open mind. All right, hands. Enough's enough. Right. Well, your silver slippers await outside. I wish you safe travels, V. It's been interesting, if not to say peculiar. So that's it for our biz together? Who can say? For the time being, it certainly is. Please, no tears. And one last thing. Be wary of witches, the wicked, and the good. Until next time, V. Yep. Till then, hands. What a fucking mess. It's like the place is robbed. Finger on the trick, V. Cat! Don't got so much as a fucking any rest half the score. What a game! of talk down. Listen, get me out of here and I'll... I'll let you take me out to dinner. Maybe. Guess it's your lucky day. Hey, sweet cheeks, eyes up. Stay at my tits long enough. Bash this asshole in the head and take me Put home. Put a sock in it, dumbass. <clears throat> Gonk in the boots, my friend, and a partner. Tool. 
And here I thought we had a fucked up partnership. Let's go upstairs before he gets too riled up. I'll explain everything. This is gonna be good. Can feel it. Jesus Christ. Fuck! I should be scrolling. You're tanking my sales, my popularity. Mark my words, assholes. My boys will find me. They'll bust me out of this shithole. Would you finally let me out? Or did you just come here to jerk off? Don't got the key. Oh, then fucking find it. Oh, interesting. Dear Lena, I've been following you ever since the beginning when you were making those crazy amateur BDs with those bikers from the Badlands. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Life kicked me pretty hard in the ass. I can only catch a break when I'm being you. Thanks for the preem content. I know you're putting your body and soul into these BDs. Your biggest fan, Edgar Toole. Cute. Started to wish I hadn't burned all my fan mail. Handwritten. Heartfelt, too. Must have been important, getting this to her. For real, Edgar. This really necessary. Who the fuck is Edgar? Are you scared? Hmm. He's a stronger kick to shake sense into him. Tool's been a diehard fan of Lena since the beginning. Relives all her BDs. This being Dogtown, a few days ago we had a power surge. BD Reed was pulling juice while Tool was, well, being Lena. BD got stuck in his head, sizzled his synapses. Ever since then, he thinks he's the real Lena Molina. Talks like her, acts like her, the whole works. Figuring as you're already a witness to this whole mess, might have a job for you. Who's this Lena chick anyway? She scrolls BDs. Gonzo content and sparkly packaging. Runs with a gang, fucks DJs, snorts designer drugs, and tears up the streets and tricked out rides while squirting lead out the window. No doubt, Sitch is a little strange. But who am I to say? I ain't a ripper. Since you're here, willing to pay top eddies if you can help with a little something. It's about capitalizing on the present state of affairs. Catch my drift? I don't know. Ah, look. Stores barely staying afloat. Nobody's buying our squirrels and Hansons, bleeding us dry in rent. Yeah, heads, Nova, catches your eye. But let's not kid ourselves. Folks in Dogtown ain't ample of the wallet. I take serious gigs and the scratch to match. Better off asking a chew. For this, I need someone with thick skin. Might involve getting into a big dick contest with Lena's entourage of gangoons. Your chum loses touch with reality, and you're angling to make a quick euro buck? Oh, please. Don't need a merc lecture in me on ethical biz practices. Gotta stay and keep an eye on Tool. Make sure he doesn't off himself or break something. You go get Lena and bring her here for a BD shoot. We'll do a collab. Call it Doppelgangbanger. Mm-hmm. Lena gets content for an episode. Store's rep gets a boost from her fans. Win, win. Not afraid Tool might stay this way forever? Nah, he'll be fine. Sometimes peeps go a little wackadoodle post-virtue. Trust me, I've seen it all. More worried about those barkest pricks coming to collect. Cause right now, we're making as much as a joy toy with erectile dysfunction. 
Lena's rich and famous. Probably gets offers like these all the time. What makes you think she won't just blow us off? Ain't that simple. Markets herself like a star because that's what sells. But in reality, she's still waiting for that big break. Okay, I'll get Lena down here. Just need her address. Sent. If we scroll something preem, I'll throw in a little extra. Sounds like a bulletproof plan. What could go wrong? Who's this Lena chick anyway? She scrolls BDs. Gonzo content and sparkly packaging. Runs with a gang, fucks DJs, snorts designer drugs, and tears up the streets and tricked out rides while squirting lead out the window. Not afraid Tool might stay this way forever? Nah, he'll be fine. Sometimes peeps go a little wackadoodle post-virtue. Trust me, I've seen it all. More worried about those barkest pricks coming to collect. Cause right now, we're making as much as a joy toy with erectile dysfunction. You take one ride in the faceplate, then we rake in the damages. Uh, Heads up. Better get rid of them before they steal our little star. I wanna try talking to him first. Could be tunes of Linus. Once your chrome ripped out of you? No? Then fuck off! Nice digs. Who lives here? The fuck you care? Turn around and keep walking, Tune. It's funny. Placed a bet on the body count lottery, and guess what? Only four bodies away from my lucky number.
Convincing Lena if she catches me breaking in. Better off waiting for her outside. Don't make trouble. Be There's Lena. Pretend you're someone important. Lay some uh, studio cool on her. Don't need acting pointers from you, Johnny. Uh, let me guess. Another stalker. How long have you been waiting here, hmm? All night? Want me to sign your pecs? Where's my crew? We're supposed to shoot, and they're not fucking here. Amateurs. <sighs> anyway, you want an autograph or something? I'm a talent scout for BD Syndicate, and boy, do I have the perfect role for you. We're piloting a new BD show, and if it takes off and you've got good chemistry with the co-star, we'll dive straight into full production. Whoa, slow down, guy. I might be easy, but I'm not cheap. And I always charge in advance. Did I mention who you'd be co-starring with? No, who? See for yourself. Fuck me! Carrie Uridine! And the girls from Uscrax! I take it we've got a deal? We do. Did you bring me my script? Uh, won't be needing one. It's all improvised. Sending you the address. I'll meet you there tonight. The producer, Shank, he'll be waiting for you on location. Uh, got to get ready, do my makeup, nails. Uh, thanks, sweetie. Ciao.
He's weak as hell. Yeah, that's all they had. If you'd offered more, they'd have had more. You're wearing my faceplate. You even copied my shoes. Have you no shame, bitch? I won't let this go. These looks are copyright protected, okay? You will be paying me for the rest of your life. Your looks, Fatso? Yours? Bags, shoes, glasses, all custom made. Lina Malina is a registered trademark. You fucking copycat bitch. Okay, like this is fucking weird. How am I even supposed to act? All right, people. Director on set. Someone's got to take the reins. So great to have you back. Convince him he's your long lost sister. Um, okay. If that's your vision. It's all part of the plan. Go get him, Tiger. Little sis. Remember our first apartment in Haywood? Sandwiched between an old food and a Kang Tao warehouse? We had the swing out of Thornton tires and rebars. You made it for me. I thought I lost you forever, and... and here you are! You have to remember. Please. I can't believe it. It's impossible. We were always like two little peas in a pod. Really you. And cut. Didn't turn out bad, huh? I wasn't sure at first, but I think we've got a good chemistry. We scrolling anything else? That's a wrap for today. But you were amazing. Well, better get going then. Send me your shooting schedule. Ciao, boys! Holy shit! She wants to keep scrolling with us. Prem work. You went above and beyond my expectations. Clearly got a talent for BD showbiz. Transfer in your eddies now. Man, did not expect today to turn out like this. You all right? <gasps> Isn't she just gorgeous? Feels like only yesterday I was braiding her hair. Everything okay? Putting on fashion shows with mama's clothes. We have so much to catch up on. Looking for someone. Name's Aaron. Tune's the size of a cow truck. Wayne's, the boxer. Sure, he was here. Said he'd meet me here. Oh, men's popular today. These two guys first, now you. Two guys? 
Tombs, clearly. Same vibe, just bigger than him. Animals. Not good. Seem to be going for a smoke in the alley. I still catch him. Fuck. Come on, V, take heart. Guy tried to do the right thing for once in his life. And you don't feel a thing? Heard this song before, V. Know the lyrics by heart. Please, brother, he a common thug. Not even that. Not no more. Warm food's warm Tone food. down, Chuba. Ah, at last. I lacked the time to brew tea. My apologies. Face to face again? What's changed? Everything. And that's what we'll discuss. Kurt Hansen. A man of many hats. A criminal, dog of war. To mine eye, an entrepreneur. And business suffocates in a vacuum. Vultures circle the Colonel's corpse already. The enterprise he built must choose a new leader. We will make certain they choose correctly. The shard, please insert it. Uh-huh. Why is it we care? I take the long view of Dogtown's well-being. You care for short-term profit. Should Dogtown drown in blood, neither is achievable. Let me guess. Got a successor all lined up, don't you? Lieutenant Colonel Bennett. One of Hansen's most loyal, commands respect, is capable of rallying a strong base. The logical choice, this gentleman soldier. Alas, he has competition. A man named Yago. He's starting from a lower rung, but has high aspirations. He's already begun seeking outside support from the Voodoo Boys. You will meet with Yago. You will convince him to back down. What's Bennett's story? Ex-Marine took part in Operation Midnight Storm. He never questioned orders, didn't serve for glory or medals. Loyal from start to finish. Yago not up to snuff? Why? He's an accountant. No soldier. Kept Hansen's books for him. V. You don't win hearts by counting numbers. Okay, I'll handle that. No, you won't. 
but Aguilar will. Uh, you lost me. Hansen remained on top because he had the contacts to stay afloat. Most important among them was a Cuban cartel. Enter Aguilar, a merc assassin from Havana, a living legend. Every time someone in Havana lights a cigar, Aguilar extinguishes a life somewhere around the globe. I'm lucky to have his behavioral imprint on hand. You're lucky to have Merc experience assassin, huh? with the tech already. Color me curious. Anything else I ought to know? Real name, unknown. Body count, unknown. Conservative estimates put it in the dozens. Per continent. Rumors, perhaps. But rumors often make for crowning arguments in negotiation. Let me summarize. Need me to assume Aguilar's identity... Have a chat with Yago. Talk him out of any silly ideas he might have. Child's play. Okay, all's crystal. I prepared a shard with helpful intelligence. Also a weapon. The same Aguilar uses. Help yourself to both. Mm-hmm. Interesting piece of iron. Custom made. A unique and highly persuasive tool. Time to kick the tires, V. Suit up and take the imprint for a whirl. Feel the difference. Seriously, Hans? Making me your guinea pig for untested tech? <laughs> Thought you valued your well being more than that. Hmm. Better than expected, V. Or rather, Aguilar. You'll make a strong impression on Yago, too. A trusted source tells me he's to meet soon with a delegation of the Dogtown Voodoos. I'll forward the coordinates. Tick tock. Whoa. I care not at all for how you handle the Gangoons. <laughs> As you will. I have only one request. Yago withdraws his candidacy. Once you've shown him reason, call me. And remember, my district's future is riding on this. Dogtown's future and yours. Don't fuck me over, Hans. <laughs> Rehearsing, are you? Close. Just a bit lacking. Good luck.
Time to go Cuban. Probably not a good time to take Aguilar for a walk. Allez, ça c'est pas territoire. I have good news. We will talk. I will not shed your blood. A very good deal. Is it Yago you await? He's not coming. Havana has removed him from the picture. Catella? Is it la? Here, Jess. But I have no quarrel with you. What happens next is your choice. Jacob Feb. He pral rencontre sa mérité en vous. Assez. Pas voli. En allez. Got away from the man. Out in the open? Ah, what a face-off to you. Aguilar, you saucy senor. There they are. Gonk's got no clue what's coming. Think I'm gonna shed a tear. Something ain't right, boss. And you are... I answered with my own question. Do you know what happens when someone in Havana lights a cigar? Somewhere in the world, Aguilar takes a life. So they say. Do you know what else they say? That you have angered the wrong people. We know of your plan to us, Bennett. We know of your new allies. The Voodoo Boys? <laughs> Poor choice. My superiors follow Christ, Yago. I... I never intended any disrespect. What happens now? I spoke with the Voodoos. They understood their lives are worth more. Now, I speak with you, and wonder about the value of yours. Aguilar, please. It's not what you think. May I explain, at least? Very well, but be quick. Bennett is an Arasaka pawn. They courted him until he cracked. Then they waited. They needed the Colonel to die. I don't know what they promised him. But I do know what they want. Control of Dogtown. You have proof of Bennett's deception, I trust. Know where to find it? He goes to the city center often, Republic Way. The building's a front, occupied by a dummy corp owned by Arasaka. As to Bennett's biz there, ask him, press him. You'll see him, right? Please pass my gratitude along to your superiors. Let's go. Plot thickens. Once they're gone, uncloak for your face melts like Scott Chaco. Just getting started, Johnny. Guess you ought to keep hands in the loop. Or 
We could see what his favorite son's cooking up with fucking Arasaka. After all, Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Well played, Aguilar. I five me hermano Cubano. Ah, shit! Time Aguilar had a word with Ben. Ain't our guy that. Probably his hustle. Take him out now, just in case. Save yourself the headache later. Tell you what Aguilar do. Dump the body stack. Then wait for Bennett in the ride. Get the jump on him. Mm -hmm. I think we're on the same page. They agreed to back me. Two unmarked tactical units in Dogtown. Gordon, let's roll. But what a grind. Japanese suits have their neckties. Wait, who? Oh fuck, Aguilar! So you know now how the Japanese tie their neckties. Do you know the Colombian way? The Colombians cut open your neck. Pull your tongue out through the hole. It sounds complicated. But I've had plenty of practice. Aguilar, please, listen to me. I know what this must look like. This fuckhead Yago. You're a candidate. Hmm. He's trying to cut me out. Arasaka's promised to have my back. All they want in exchange is access to our smuggling routes. No, what they seek is control of your smuggling routes. Only a fool would think otherwise. I'm out to secure the future. For my organization. For your bosses. You will put Arasaka behind you, Bennett. Why? Because you are in a car with Havana. While Tokyo is somewhere out there. This is a geography lesson? Fucking joke! Oh, Bennett. What little regard do you have for your own life? You won't let it go, is that it? Well, fine. Your legend hands hit!
Do you want the throne? It is mine to give, but to a soldier, not a corporate puppet. If I see even one Arasaka shadow in Dogtown, I will return and find you, but without my friendly demeanor. Is that clear? Yes, Aguilar. Understood. Dream work, Aguilar. Time for a breather, though. What would you do with your own? Find out with the blockbusters in the for the bomb. The the progress. As Yago reconsidered. As indeed. Also, Voodoo Boys are out of the equation. Splendid. Have you anything else to add? Yep. Met with Bandit too. Man's a sock puppet. Sock his hand up his ass. Don't worry, I pulled him off. Ironed him out. For good, I hope. Huh. It's not something I asked you to do. But I do appreciate it. Bennett is still superior to Yago as a candidate. What now? Time to pay tribute to the Fallen. Aguilar will attend Hansen's funeral service and ensure a smooth transfer of power. Uh-huh. Sounds like you expect trouble. Such events can trigger geysers of raw emotion. No two people grieve alike, and rarely rationally. Ceremony and Wake both at the Black Sapphire. Aguilar should enter without a hitch. Got it. Leroy more. Vive Leroy. Good luck, V. Cuban cartel. Here. Interesting. Aguilar, in honor for all of us. <laughs> this is how you bid your leader farewell. Under the circumstance, I expected more pomp. Pomp? Well, 
we did what we could. What felt right. Take me to Bennett. He came with extra security. Got a bad feeling. Aguilar, what a surprise. I understand you've met. Havana sends its condolences. The news of Colonel Hansen's death shook us all. I'm sure the Colonel would appreciate your goodwill. You're dismissed. I met earlier with the Lieutenant Colonel. We had a lovely conversation talking of this and that. In the end, we both agreed Dogtown needs a strong leader. That leader will be Bennett. The people here heed his words, as will you, Yago. Oh, until when? Until you leave town and he's free to stab me in the back? I want names, contacts, Connections, your informants in the NCPD, everyone on your payroll. Ridiculous. You will prove your loyalty to me. No, Bennett. If you would unleash hell upon Dogtown, just know this pistol will be the first hound out of it. I don't think that's necessary. I would like us to lay our cards on the table. That is the wild card. I give a finger, you ask for the hand. Alas, I have only an itchy trigger finger left to offer. Our future prosperity depends on a show of your goodwill. Only my personal opinion, of course. Perhaps if you do not agree, I could, um... persuade you? Fucking... fine! We have a deal. Hope I won't regret it. Havana has eyes everywhere. Behave, both of you, all of you, or I'll be back. Doggy dog world, I guess. What's that make dog town? A warning to you, Silverhand. One you will heed. Time we sent Aguilar off with a heartfelt adios. No estoy de humor. Adios, Aguilar. It's been real.
Your bandit's an apex predator. Gonna make a fine year handsome. With a sensible partner at his side, he stands to achieve more than Hansen ever could. Marvelous work, V. Worth it for any and more. That'll be all for now. I'll be in touch. Thank you. 